What's up guys, my name is Richard aka Rogue Richie, and welcome back to Attack of the V-Team. What on earth is this thing in the water? Let's uh, go back to my normal mode. I can't even hit it. What is it? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. I know, I know how to do this. We will have a look at it as a squid. Geronimo! Man, I... <laughs> I need to reconsider making a potion stand because I need the... Portion of seeing underwater in this. I'm assuming they're in this Minecraft. They are in this Minecraft, right? I'm not just making that up. Look, here. Yeah. yeah, what is it? Did I just get a health bar on something? Did I just get a health bar on it? I completely lost it again. Oh, there's a stingray down here. Oh wow, I really do need... I can't see a thing! <laughs> yeah man, I can't see a thing underwater. I need some, like, potions or something. Does it help if I'm in F5? Helps a little bit. Oh god, you get the footprint sounds when I'm running along the bottom. That is uh, quite glitchy, isn't it? Maybe there's stuff down at the bottom of the ocean on this one. I've never really thought to have too much of a look, to be honest. Anyway, it's too dark. Um, at some point in this game, I'll get some potions and learn to swim the right way. And I'll come back to it. And check out the actual sea life. But today, we are going to look at... We fueled our rocket. I was going to say fueling our rocket, but that's totally wrong. Uh, we fueled our rocket, so today we're going to look at fueling our lungs. Hey, hey, see what I did there with oxygen. So let's start to have a go into the NASA Center. And have a quick look at uh, what we need. So here we are, here's all the oxygen equipment and we need this oxygen gear for definite. It's something we definitely need. It's made out of an oxygen concentrator and oxygen pipes. Make sure, yeah. Um, I also had a quick look at the oxygen collector and that also needs an oxygen concentrator. And the oxygen compressor? You might need one of them, you might not need one of them. At the very least, we need two of these. So we need eight compressed steel, compressed tin, two of them, and some tin canisters. So I will be right back when I have made those. Om nom 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 nom. Alright, so as I'm compressing uh, some iron here, um... I have used pretty much all of my tin to create the compressed tin. So I need to go and find uh, some more tin, some more resources. So uh, back to mining, I think. I might take you guys with me. You know, it could be fun. Fun trip out. Well, we're off looking for tin down here in my mines, which are not showing much in the way of substance at the moment. To be honest, I'm getting a bit thin on the ground. Oh, no, here's some aluminium. And that should be some tin. Yes, there we go. Um, I've been playing this off camera. I've been adventuring, just checking out some of the other things. Um, not really anything into the other mods yet. Um, I've been trying to like find location for a better house because I do not like that little wooden hood of mine. I've also done things like I've, uh, I've visited the nether. And the nether is completely, uh, yeah, the nether's a thing. 
I've also learned that I'm not sure if it's my computer or this game or something. It'll probably be something to do with my computer. I can't imagine it'll be something directly in the game. But when I go from the nether to the overworld, the game crashes, unfortunately. Which is going to be problematic. I don't know why I picked that sapphire up. I don't need sapphires. I need tin. And I'm also grabbing aluminium because why not? Oh, aluminum. Aluminium, aluminum. Not silver, don't take they want silver. Um aluminum. Ah yes, that's why, because it comes in chunks with tin. Yay! Um Yes, there's a weird crash when you come back from the nether. The nether's a really weird place in this mod. Um not shocked in the slightest to be honest. Everything's weird in this mod. I will have to take you and show you sometime. Not this episode, but uh a future episode. Hopefully when my setup's a little more stable and it won't die and crash. But <laughs> have my computer burst into flames. Say, oh god, why? Why are you doing this to me? But, uh... Yeah, it's an interesting place. There's some weird spiders in there. Um... I can show you because I killed them. God, I'm not sure if I have enough space to show you because they were massive. I'll, I'll knock this out of the way. Here we go, let's have a look. Oh yeah, oh yes. Yes, we need to go check that out today. But here we go. A baby... What was it called? A heart scar spider? Yeah, heart, heart heat scar spider. And we have a proper heat scar spider. Holy mother of god. I am four blocks wide. I barely fit into this thing. I should be pretty damn scary to any moms that approach me. Yeah, look, I can barely fit. I can't fit. I literally can't fit. <laughs> Man, these things are scary to look at. Um, on the complete opposite end of the scale, I found one of these little... Uh, look at them, look at them. The hat looks so 2D because it doesn't fit properly. That's incredible. <laughs> These feel like they run really fast. Ow. Oh yeah, so they're just scale walls. It's still a jumper block, but you know. Yeah, um, I'll show you where I found these in a little bit actually. When I have mined all of this out of this cave. For now. Back to being me. Where am I? Where am I? Who am I? I'll cut back in a little bit. Alright guys, I'm back. I suppose I should have a quick look at... Oh god, it's raining. Lovely. <laughs> How do you make an oxygen vent? I believe it is. Yes, a vent. It's compressed steel. How oh, did I know? So, yep, yep, I need two more compressed steels. I'll just grab some iron out of one of these. Oh man, I hate the dark out thing it puts on my whole inventory. I should have a look see if that can be turned off. I still didn't find any more coal though. It puts me a bit low on the coal front. Which I need to compress the steel. I need to look into Tinkerer's construct, I believe. How to smelt down iron into uh, steel. Because this is this is really resource heavy and I'm I'm not I'm not finding enough coal. So look, it takes 10 coal to make 5 plates. Ha. Huh. Anyway, yes. Um, I was on about the baby spider. I believe it also may be night time. It's midday. I hate you weather. 
I hate you. Oh yes, um, very very cool thing. As a transformer no but I've got biomes plenty. Is these puddles on it rins? How cool are these? It gets puddly. And I'll, I'll have another hat. Thank you, Mr. Pig. And you meet. Yeah, look at the puddles. Just a cool little uh, effect there. But anyway, yes, how was I? I was on about jungle spiders, wasn't I? That is because. Um, last episode, I thought I'd go. I finished last episode up over here, and I thought I'd go have a look in here. Oh, look, we got coal. Oh, look, we got coal. I'm gonna have to take that coal because it's so important. But yes, there's more coal in here. Man, I'm gonna have to come back through here properly. You, you can hear them, you can hear them, you can hear them, jungle spiders. They're dying somewhere. But if you follow the light trail. We have a dungeon down here. You can hear the creepies. They're not actually in here. What is this? This is a spider spawner. And I believe there is a way to pick them up in this mod pack. Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't know this was here. What is this liquid? Is it herders? Nope. Is it different if I pick it up or is it just water? Oh, it's just water. Oh, so this is just water in a jungle biome? Tropical rainforest biome. That is kind of cool. Kind of slimy. I kind of like it. There is a lot of cave here. A lot of cool cave at that. Wow. Yes, all this stuff needs pulling out the walls. But first... I didn't bring an empty inventory, because I am not very smart, apparently. What have we got in here? We have dragon eggs. White stone. Safari net. Stencils. White stone. This stack. No, they don't. Different IDs or something. A stencil. Another safari net. A bucket. A saddle. And some more dragon eggs. Man, six dragon eggs. I have no idea what they are or what they do. And I'm also just going to take one of these. I'll take both of these chests, actually. Holy crap, guys. Look at this. So... If you put a chest next to a crafting station, it interacts with the chest. Which makes me incredibly curious. What happens if I put it in between two chests? Ah, it just activates the one on the right hand side. Well, this changes things. Definitely changes things. Be right back as I organise this. Wow, this is incredible. <laughs> Look at this, this is this is awesome. So I can take my compressed tin and go like that. And I can take my compressed iron. I can just bang this back in the chest. Wow, that's cool. Right, back to smelting and compressing and all the things. Alright, I'm back and I've smelted things up. And, um. <laughs> I believe it's time to make two of these. So, what was it? It was, um. Right, it was. There, there, and there. Oh, did this need, like. Oh, it did. Oh, no. That's not good. Well, we have one. I have to compress some more steel. But in the meantime, we can make the backpack, I believe, because it is glass pipes, which are just panes. And then, like, oh, wait, no, I need one more tube. 
Ah, it's always the case. Have I got enough glass? Yeah, I've got enough glass to make pins. Sweet. Okay, so we got more tube. And we have our oxygen gear. Which we can put on our back like that, I believe. Yep. We got them tubes on our back. Put this on our head. All right, I just threw it on the floor. Okay, it's on our head like that. See, the tubes go into the back of the mask. So we just need the oxygen cylinders on our back, I believe. Um, that's a parachute. I don't know what this thing is on the left here. I'm gonna have to look into that. But these are two tanks of oxygen, I believe. I'm not sure if you can only carry light tanks or if you can carry heavy tanks as well. But I'm going to compress up some more steel. I'll be back momentarily. Alright, I am back. And we are making... Was I wrong in the making of this? No, I just made one. Ah, I bet I put aluminium in. I put aluminium in. I'm a div. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. Just being special. Special. There we go. Now to make this, we need them. I believe we have all of them. Now watch me get this completely wrong. But I believe it was aluminium, aluminium. It was that. It was a tin can. It was tin? No. It was a fan. And a vent. And we have an oxygen collector. Boom. Let's have a look at this thing. Right, we've got a wire on one side. And a wire on the other. Oh, we need... Uh... Oh. Let me just check. Yep, yeah, that goes in like that. And then it pumps oxygen out. Right. Right. That's going to drain my solar panels because it's night time. Right, so we need the compressor, so we need some bronze. We got four steel. Are we still got four steel? Let's have a look. We've got three steel. Ah, I don't have the coal. Oh man. I will be back momentarily. Alright guys, I am back and we need... Oh my god, really? I'm almost back because I need... One more bit of aluminium compressed. Let's just quickly throw it in the compressor. I might as well do two at once because this electric one outputs two at once. So, you know, save time in future. Always have a spare. Man, I love having this uh, access to your chest at the crafting station. It's, a, it's just amazing. Right, hang on. How does this work? Obviously oxygen that side, power that side. means that we need to dismantle this wall some more. Obviously the cable goes here and here. And hopefully this oxygen pipe situation goes like that. So if I break this, this does does this collect oxygen in? By itself? Curious. I'm just going to fix the wall. Like that. 
and um, put that back there like that. What did I need for an oxygen tank again? It was like so. It's some lime wool, a tin canister, and some cross compressed copper. Does it have to be lime wool? We will find out very quickly here. Oh man, we didn't don't have compressed copper. Oh, this has been an episode of where I find out that I don't have all the compressed things that I need to do everything. This is where we discover that it is actually lime wool that you do need, and I'm going to cry. There's our compressed copper. And it is, in fact, lime wool that you need. Well, oh, 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 I think you can die with lime trees, and I'm just going to go to sleep quickly. And this episode is probably running long, because I've not been keeping track of time. Yes, it's a lime stained tree. If I chop this down, I'll get birch and I'll get lime stained saplings. And I believe from lime stained saplings, lime stained saplings, you can dye other things in this. It's like a form of dyeing. Dying? So, um, instead of like creating farms and weird things for that, you can just collect loads of dyed trees. Like, I've got purple over there, so I can make purple. And I've got lime green, so I should be able to make lime green. We're going to test this theory now, of course, as I turn back into human form and get into the crafting bench. Look at that, I don't even have to have the wool on us. And if I put a lime stamp there, look at that. Aren't I clever? Not really, but you know. That gives me an oxygen container. And if I put the oxygen container into here, it starts filling up. It has like 12,000 oxygen, so it'll fill this full tank. And then, um... I'm assuming I'll need to connect the air pipes. And we have a full tank. I know it doesn't fill back up, but if we quickly chuck this uh, oxygen pipe there. There we go. Yep, it just dumps it. There we go, and I'll fill up my second tank. And uh, just to demonstrate. Because it's pretty easy to fill up. If I right click this equipment, does it go on? No, it doesn't. But I'm just going to nab this out of here now because why not? But if I put this and this and this and this, then you will see that I am geared to go to space. Now, um, I think you might be able to take the bigger tanks. I'm going to have a look into that off camera. Am I using this air supply while I'm on this? Or am I not? I don't even know how fast you use the air supply, to be honest. I'm not using it on Earth. But yeah, you know. Ready for space. Anyway, I've just been messing around for a bit. Doesn't use any oxygen up on his planet, so that is cool. But I can take all these off again now. I'll look off camera into getting some heavier oxygen tanks so we can have more oxygen. And next episode... I think it might be time to go to the moon. Some last step preps. And then lift off. But for now, my name's been Richard, aka Rogue Richie. And I will see you next time. Bye!